Aloha. Uh, today I wanted to uh, jump off the last video of the Soul Projector system and uh, just continue on that. I'm just going to read some things and then expand a little bit about um, what I've written down, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as perspectives on uh, what this place might be, uh, just theories about how things are put together. This specifically, this specific video will go into um, actually one of the first theories that I ever came to when I was introduced to Flat Earth. Uh, in one of the first, if not the first video I ever did on Flat Earth, I was looking at the uh, the the map that is used today, um, and just looking at the design and saying real quickly, oh, this could be like a black hole that we are in. And I know somebody had said or referenced maybe in the comment section of that video that somebody had already, or some people have already referenced this theory, but I haven't since then or recently ever even looked into it. And I kind of did that on purpose so I can see what naturally comes out when I go into the flow of whatever is whatever I'm feeling about how I've pieced together um, stuff that I've spoken about and just my general feeling on what things might be having now almost two years now uh, after that first just out of nowhere kind of theory. Uh, so like in the last video and previous videos mentioning that the system has to throw in little specks of truth with the the lies, the ultimate lies, in order to get people to believe into the system, to really truly activate the system. If you just constantly deliver lies to people, then they will eventually pick it up and then all of your credibility will just or all of your illusory power will just be removed because people will start to they will have nothing to grasp on to so this goes with um slavery and and like the system we're in today like the the system has to feed you doggy treats in order to keep you coming back and also distract you and, and make you worship the system and believe in the system as if it's the end all be all. This is where all the the uh, celebrating the war, the military industrial complex, you know, your soldiers are number one and all this stuff and capitalism is number one and um, technology is number one and the United States of America is number one, never really going into, like, for example, technology in the capitalistic system. I had a conversation with an individual the other day who was constantly reiterating the fact that capitalism is pretty much the peak of human evolution. And he kept pointing to his phone as if, you know, this is this is it. This is the peak. And I kept referencing, which was just being ignored in the moment. I kept referencing the very the the the, the pieces that that build up that phone. The cobalt in that phone is literally dug out of the ground by hand by largely child labor. Eight year olds, an eight year old little boy or an eight year old little girl in Africa had to dig out that cobalt or, um, you know, how <clears throat> the diamonds, the blood diamond industry, the gold, the, um, the lithium, all of this is being soaked out of the earth largely by uh, corporations who pay people like in Africa next to nothing and it's poisoning these people. And that's the intention. This is where I'm coming from as far as like the separation from nature, the separation from even the basic human nature of of like a child would not have if a child was in charge of the world, a child would not allow that system to be. All of the children, if all the children came together right now 
and said, wait a second, our iPads and iPhones and all this stuff is made out of, you know, a child that's just like me, eight years old, digging this out of the ground, making like 10 cents a month and is being, you know, sickened and diseased from this process. No, this system has to stop. And not only that, Hell no, this system is not the peak of human evolution. There's something half something has to be done about this. So if that's understood, then we could see that this there's an intention behind why those perspectives do not get looked at. And it goes all the way up to the spiritual warfare, through the psychological warfare, through the military industrial complex and the actual physical warfare. The physical warfare is just how it manifests on the land, on, in, in the material realm. And then it goes even further into manifesting into individuals who hate themselves and hate other people. So that's the expansion of this warfare that first exists on the spiritual warfare to where I just explained even a child wouldn't allow this stuff to happen, not even to the intellectual or psychological interpretations of what's really going on, seeing how just ridiculous this is. Like all the stuff that's going on in the in the Catholic Church and um, all the lies that we've been told over the years with um Santa Claus, the white Jesus program, the the uh, Easter Bunny and Christopher Columbus and, you know, all the lies that have been designed to make, to like generate a level of consciousness, to generate, to create an outcome. That's really what it is. And I was thinking the other day, like the the, the effect that Santa Claus, and when I reference these things, people who are new to this channel or people who are still having difficulty with understanding the supremacy program and so forth, when I reference this information, this is not to like beat down on white people or anything like that. I'm just referencing information that exists, and I want to find out what it is. The defense mechanism to the privilege mentality and the subconscious guilt program within these mentalities for people who take this history personally is to externalize those reactions onto the people who bring this stuff to the surface. We will not be able to heal unless we understand what has been existing underneath the surface and the origins and the meanings, the intentions of that stuff that has been festering underneath the consciousness of every individual and the collective as a whole the the big problems like the the child labor in africa and so on and so forth that stuff won't be addressed if we don't trace the origins like doing this shallow stuff of politics and and um just waiting for the next politician to do something or waiting for the next hollywood superhero to speak up against something that's ultimately not going to do anything it's going to really just expand the system so when people when i reference this information this is just to bring it to the surface because it's not it's not being brought to the surface so when i reference this don't take it personally it's um because it's my intention it's not program that way it's just to bring it to find out what's really going on here and reference the obvious obviously christopher columbus did not discover the americas so if that's true then what was really in the americas what was the culture what were the people what was really going on here and what was the intention for telling the entire world even to this day in public education systems that Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas. What does that do to the child mind? What does that do to the teacher who has to teach that shit? What does that do to the collective who has to believe constantly? There's a there's a contrast there that is ultimately destructive. There's an intention and a meaning and a purpose there. No different than the Santa Claus and the white Jesus and and uh, the devil program and the Easter Bunny and all that other shit. It's to make you think and act a certain way. And if we don't remove these densities from our system, 
then we will fall for whatever the intention that has been hidden behind that system. So this is why I reference this stuff. So back to the black hole. The black hole is by their definition, the system's definition, the same system that has been lying about San, like Santa Claus and everything. And it's no different. Santa Claus, the Santa Claus program is basically just the same program that it's the it's this foundation to set you up to believe in the Jesus program when you get older. And then later on, because what is Santa Claus? But an old Jesus, according to the images that get projected, excuse me, into your face over and over and over again. And he gives you salvation. He he died for your sins. He provides, instead of toys, he provides you your life. So what's the same thing? What is your life when you're a kid? Toys. Waiting for Christmas. Is that going outside to play? You know, th- thinking about flying and, and doing all that stuff. It, it's the joy of, that's like the peak of the child um, lifestyle is is stuff like Christmas. So, and this is why it's still amplified every year in the United States. This this nation that is the peak of psychological and ultimately spiritual mind control and physical mind control. When you uh, install the or see it from the perspective perspective of the military and prison industrial complex, so all of these systems that trace back to prior to the Colombian era, prior to the the lie of Christopher Columbus discovering America, everything goes back beyond that. So anybody who's talking about capitalism and and uh, democracy as it is today being the peak of evolution, they're still f- founded or grounded in the Greco-Roman psychological mind control program yes there's information that goes beyond the greco-roman system but the core of what we are existing in today is a psychological mind control program that is largely based upon the supremacy program and the greco-roman philosophy aristotle the gravity heliocentric model that whole colombian era mentality all of it is this lightly dusted truth with a core and intention of just bass backwards lies and what's going on here is this these generations after generations who have been subjecting themselves to these lies and this separation from the soul ultimately it's locking yourself into the density program the system overall when you understand that the the heliocentric model is designed to separate you from uh, your soul essence from the most high from the stars from the sun from the moon from the balances that exist in nature as a whole when you understand that that's the intention of this system then you can realize that everything that is a that is a result that of that um, is also programmed with that same kind of intention. So you we it was beaten into us in the slavery time frame and in the uh, the the Roman kings and queens and all that time frame. It was literally whipped into our ancestors to. Let it set in and it set all the way into the religious programs where people are worshiping um, only one perspective of reality like uh, Christianity, Catholicism, mainstream religions and worshiping an image that is ultimately an illusion. So these illusions are like the box within the box within the box within the box the illusion within illusion so if we don't understand the larger illusion like understanding the heliocentric model is just cracking the door open we haven't even walked through the door of realizing what this place really is we're still you know throwing around theories this is why uh, i'm referencing this video as 
um, that like the black hole, like this could potentially be a black hole. And this is going by the definitions of the system who created uh, the program to begin with. And just I'll read through this stuff so you can see that um, how it makes sense to me, because when I looked into I just thought about this uh, yesterday or last night and I was thinking, wait a second, from what I remember, all of the all of the if we remove gravity, if we remove that word and if we remove um, all of the 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 definitions that the words that have that are part of lies ultimately and replace them with what we've understood as the flat earth perspective uh, then things start to make a little bit more sense to me and obviously this is just a theory so um i just wanted to share that so i'll read these things and then go through what i've you know come come about with so ultimately the first thing that i wanted to share is <clears throat> jumping off of the last video the soul is already tuned in the soul is already activated at its maximum capacity it's just it has to in order to expand it has to contract this is the frequency program so it it, it, it expands and contracts up and down up and down like the in and out breath so but Ultimately, the energy behind that breath is the soul essence, the constant battery that charges the experience. So the experience is not who you are. The experience is what you're experiencing. So you are always going to be the soul that is charging that experience in order to expand. So each experience is just another contraction until you expand or pass on to the next experience in your uh, in reference to the soul projected ultimately from the most high. So this is how I'm seeing things and this is how I'm seeing this reality and and I'll, I'll, I'll explain the density and so on and so forth as I go on. So it's automatically it's already tuned in to there. So the soul really that doesn't really have to do anything. It's already it already is what it is. Uh, it's getting more it's like adding more instruments to a composition. It's adding more harmonics to a composition. So the soul already is what it is. But with each experience, with each contraction, it's getting more, it's adding more to the orchestra of the the allness, the, the soul, the non-physical soul allness. And <clears throat> in contrast to that, the body is... It has a long way to go. Like it has a long way to go. It's so far. It's like the difference between the solid, the liquid, and the gas. It's not meant to be one or the other. It's natural to be what it is. So it's very rigid. It's very confined. It it, it abides by particular rules, by particular shapes, and so on and so forth. And the math or the alchemy is largely different. So when in its own way. So when we focus with the intention of being the body and amplifying the body, you're actually limiting your perspective or your soul experience or what your soul is actually the intention of what your soul was wanting to do when it came here. So this is the intention of the, the entire density system overall, the destructive program or the black hole program overall, which I'll get into in a second. So it has a long way before it even like makes a balance to be tuned in. It's not even balanced yet. It's completely out of balance for whatever reason, because largely because it's not that time. If it were that time, then it would be then it's it's still growing in a sense. It's like expecting a child to act a certain way when that child hasn't grown enough 
to um, to get to that space. So we can see like the physical reality can be like the child of your soul. And your soul is like the parent to the child. But when you start to allow the child to take over and run the system, run the world, then that's when things get out of whack and the entire system will start to run upside down and reversed and destruction and more density will start to set in. This is how you can see like um, everything is just focused on the materialistic realm. If a child were running the house, they would just be buying all kinds of toys and believing in all kinds of monsters and, and um, you know, being sick and diseased and basically what's going on today. It's basically like a child is running, running the system. Um, so this is outside of the compassionate center that I mentioned earlier about like the inner child, like an inner child as far as uh, making the decision, the decision to not do certain things, but that are completely just ridiculous. But the other side of that is pretty much what we are experiencing now is the uh, the out of control, separated from the soul, separated from the parent, fr from the origin, from the centeredness, child being in control of the system. So this is where the body, where the body comes before the mind or the external or uh, the soul or where the external comes before the internal. That's where things get out of whack. So it's going to take a while before the, the physical reality. And in fact, it will never it will never reach because it's in a different world of laws. The, the, the physical reality will never reach and it's not designed to to equal to the soul, just like the physical is not designed to equal to a liquid. It's of the same existence, uh, ma material in a sense, but it's not designed. It has a particular design and meaning and purpose. So when people are talking about like, oh, well, the body and this and like th this goes into like the new age agenda and this whole physical realm reality, uh, the aliens coming from another star system to save you. It's all an extension of basically the NASA program. Like if we were to go to Mars and do this whole thing, it's an extension of the illusion to amplify or make more real the physical reality as a whole to make that external internal perspective more real and completely demonize and ignore the soul. So as long as you keep calling yourself a star seed from the Pleiadians or or in the Andromeda galaxy or whatever you think yourself to be, you are just creating another illusion no different than like the ultimate democrat or the ultimate progressive, aggressive progressive. You're still creating you're just creating another illusion within the system it's no different than it's another savior program so the alien just like i said earlier the santa jesus aliens program it's all one storyline to make you fall into the fairy tale of the physical reality as a whole and worship that as a, as the the system itself from the outside in the entire new age um <clears throat> community is based upon that this is why I said the New Age community is based largely upon these tools, these physical reality tools. And that's not to say like the tools are wrong, like crystals are not bad. They have a balance. They have a meaning and a purpose. But what you do with that tool is another story. Excuse me. So this is a place for the soul to explore and expand while it's contracted. So ultimately, when you go choose to be in the physical reality, you you're contracting, but you're also expanding within that experience. You're expanding yourself and you're expanding the collective as you get closer and closer to your soul from the densest, most black hole separated space there is. 
This physical reality is not a place to save like the savior program. It's not designed like that. This is the this is the Santa Claus illusion, the superhero illusion. You're not here to save the day and be a superhero. That's that's the movie that's being played. It's no different than trying to rule the physical reality or be a king and queen of the physical reality. The same program of the savior program is the same mentality of being a ruler of it, like at the expense of other people. This is it's the same program to make you believe it in a different way from either a political perspective or a mainstream religious perspective. And the extension of that is like this alien savior, um, like star seed syndrome, pretty much. It's this whole like everything is based upon what the illusion is telling you you should believe in or, or, or love or whatever. And the side effects to that, uh, the, the reasons why people flock to those perspectives is because we've been um we've been locked into this density program for so long we've been locked into that separation from the soul for so long from going to the war going to wars this backwards idea of uh democracy the blood that's being shed the demonizing of the indigenous and the aboriginal people the original cultures the separate the, the the cultures who are largely connected to the understandings and interpretations of the soul and this plane of existence uh, the demonizing of them and saying that they were just primitive and savage that's just that's that's being expressed now in the new age community. This is why you have ancient aliens on the history channel saying everything that the pyramids, the pyramids and Machu Picchu and Sexai Waman and, and uh, um, Cambodia and all the all the sacred places, they were all built by alien influence. Like, is it possible? Ancient astronaut theorists profess that dot, 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 dot. And then. You know, as long as they keep um, installing the conditioned program of their their belief systems based upon this separation program and you have nothing else to believe in because it's a setup like that. You're not going to go into the religious programs because that it feels it feels garbage. It feels already fake and and limiting and destructive. So it's kind of like funneling people into the new age perspective. So this is why that you have the, the pedophilia and all that stuff out there. And that's another part of the separation program. It's another part of um, like destroying the harmonics of nature. This whole um, the priests and uh, the, the pedophilia throughout the church and them like merging this pedophilia stuff with uh, from the LGBT rights and talking about all this. All this stuff is a mind control program largely to separate you from nature, period. It's just a design to make you think, think yourself into the normalization system and separate you from that which is natural. So this is why you, you can believe yourself, you can fu- sub- subject yourself to the psychological warfare. And as long as everybody is believing in that system, that's normal. That don't make it natural, though. It doesn't make it natural. So, But since the system is designed that way, it's normal. So this normal system is trying to expand itself in order to make density and separation from nature and separation from the soul so normal that it creates this synthetic natural perspective and that's that's largely what's happening today so this stockholm syndrome sets in from having been subjected to such such uh, separation programs for so long and we start to 
uh, enjoy the system or, or convince ourselves that this is the best there is. There's nothing better. It's all what it. it it's all whatever it's gonna be. And then you become hopeless and helpless, like a, a kidnapped child would in the presence of a kidnapper. It's like, what are you gonna do? You can't be. You can't overpower this this individual. So you're just trapped. So all of these side effects set in, like the new age program, like the political system, like, you know, putting all of your hope and prayers into people like Obama and Trump and all this, this system, which never had your highest intentions in mind in the first place. It's not written in that book at all. So... Another thing I was looking at is crop circles. And I was uh, thinking about like what crop circles are. Now I know I'm kind of all over the place, but it'll it'll all mellow out um, in the end. Crop circles, how I see crop circles and uh, is different from how they are projected into our reality. In the new age community, the new age community thinks that these are aliens or whatever it is. And some of them, some of them actually say that uh, this could be like the consciousness itself uh, speaking to itself. Cause this is actually what channelers bring in. And like I said, the, um, the, the ultimate, the biggest lies have to be sprinkled in with some kind of truth. So, My just asking myself, okay, well, what do you think crop circles are? Because it is some kind of phenomenon that is too precise from my perspective to be human made, like physical reality, human made. So coming from the soul perspective, the images that are being projected, it's basically like a Wi-Fi printer. It's like seeing it, seeing it like a Wi-Fi printer. And that Wi-Fi can be hacked. So all of the alien information that comes in, uh, like images of aliens or something like that, there's one crop circle that it does have an image of like an alien face and so on and so forth. This is, this is no different than like the New Age community. Uh, and channelers, like channelers um, have that limitation and can be hacked. Um, There's channelers who try to channel and then they they stop channeling because, you know, something else came in that overtook them and had some kind of like off putting energy or whatever that is. Um, Same thing goes with like crop circles, seeing seeing it from the soul perspective and like how we are the body expanding into a higher level of consciousness through the expansion and contraction program or the breath program. Um Crop circles can be seen as images that have an effect just by observing their presence, like observing them. So physically, they have some kind of something, some kind of effect on the earth plane. But just by seeing those images, it's just kind of like hearing a a musical piece that affects you in a certain way and changes your life. So on a subconscious level, I'm seeing crop circles as like images from our soul coming from the soul perspective that on a very general basis, kind of like how our dreams affect us. And this is, this is how I was seeing dreams just the other day. They're very abstract, and if you see, if you're in, if you get, you know, a thousand, um, if you can remember a thousand of your dreams, you're still missing, you know, the infinite amount of other dreams that you didn't pick up um, beyond that. But that's not the point. Is the point is when you are waking up that you get a very abstract. So you're you're picking up maybe like point five percent of the energy that is expressed or the perspectives that has been expressed in that in those dreams in the thousands of energy particles of dreams or perspectives of dreams you're picking up like 
0.5% or 0.05% of those perspectives. The thing is, that's all you need in order to um, activate that or or calibrate. The more you pay attention, the more you pick up, the more you'll be able to activate because you're, you're listening to yourself. So in reference to like how abstract and general the the uh, dreams are i'm seeing from the perspective of the soul because that is you you as the soul in the dreams us when we are awake the soul the soul that's awake when we are observing crop circles could see, have the same effect crop circles um they're so complex they could be that same thing like a thousand energy particles of complexities but we're only going to understand in the physical reality 0.05 percent of what that really means but subconsciously we get the message same thing with like your dream subconsciously you get that message you get that energy from having experienced that dream or having experienced that crop circle so these crop circles could be like uh, the Wi-Fi printer of the the energetic earth plane, the relationship that humanity has to the earth plane that is helping ourselves expand uh, the soul perspective because there's a lot of sacred geometry in there. There's a lot of relationship stuff that's in there. Uh, in crop circles, there's a, there's there's some very specific coding that's in crop circles. So this is this is just how I think what of what crop circles could be. Now, so they are really us, and this is this is also said by channelers. Channelers, some channelers have said, you know, this is that crop circles are are basically some kind of technology of the Earth plane. Uh, so outside of technology and all that other stuff from the soul perspective, this is what I'm seeing the soul speaking to itself because we can interpret that information. We can we can read it. We can cross reference it. We can see a path. We can see the intention and so on and so forth. The thing is, it is some kind of technology soul technology so that can be hacked it can be manipulated in some kind of way and this is what i'm seeing where all the alien stuff is coming in and the alien perspective is no different than the the system telling you that you know the pyramids in machu picchu was all as a result of the aliens so it's all about taking your soul perspective away and channeling it into this synthetic universe so that you can manifest a synthetic universe into being instead of activating or first healing your your soul perspective so like i was saying in the last video the the superconductor of it could be the, like the superconductor that is the sun and the moon, the same process of, or the same effects that crop circles have on or the same the same way that crop circles are being created can be the same energy that is um, the relationship with the superconductor of the sun and the moon and the earth plane instead just being channeled into a particular energy instead of um, what we are experiencing as heat energy or the moon energy the sun energy or the, the moon energy we are experiencing like sacred geometry energy through the crop circles coming from an invisible superconductor and the superconductor is the soul, just like the sun and the moon is a part of your soul. The as above, so below. It's the soul. It's you speaking to yourself, you waking yourself up every morning, you reminding yourself of the cycles of life with the moon, the, the feminine and the masculine, the electric and the magnetic, the yin, the yang, the hot, the cold, the light, the dark, the so on and so forth. So there are various layers of how we are interpreting our reality and i just wanted to share like that perspective of crop circles and how what they what they might be in reference to like light or um, light 
sharing light in like the black hole or how we because the illusion of who we think we are is largely based upon the physical reality. You think you're the, the artificial ego. You think you're the manager of Office Depot. You think that you're the that the uh, superstar athlete. You think you're the Hollywood uh, actor, actress, or you think you're the president or the United States or the king or whatever the hell you think you are. All of it's going to be thrown up in the wash when you move on into your next experience when you reconnect with your soul outside of this experience in that transition what all of that stuff will come to being this experience is not who and what you are it's just a a, a pebble or, or a, a a dusty like moment in in all of all that is so but that doesn't mean that this doesn't matter. <laughs> like the matter matters. The material realm matters in some kind of way. Like I said in the previous videos, um, the soul has some kind of relationship with the physical reality in order to have some kind of experience, just like the expansion and contraction. There's a meaning of why that breath outside of the actual breath that we are breathing now there's a soul breath that happens, and then that's what I'm seeing is the physical reality. So, or part the physical reality is part of it. So what we do here does affect our next experience. What we do here, each thought, each action, each um, inaction, it, it all affects like. Not only where we go next, but how vibrant we are, how energetically filled we are when we do move on. So the trick is in this black hole experience is to completely fill you up with density so much that you fall into oblivion. You continue to and this is not like a like a like a movie perspective because you, you as your soul this is just the experience so it you as your soul ultimately has existed has done something like this many times over and over and over again so you as the soul is just a, a center line a center line energy that can have the experience of like falling backwards or falling down or whatever it is but it will never go underneath it will never fall so far outside of the soul itself. It will just have the experience of separation, just like the physical reality is the experience of separation. So the soul itself will continue to expand with each experience, which with each thought, with each action, with each life as a whole. And the challenge is to create this density so deep that it kind of inhibits your expansion. And this is what I'm seeing is happening with um, this, uh, this black hole theory or black hole perspective. So your soul, like I said before, your soul is pretty much like your parent. And your parent is like putting you out there in the world. Um, you, as you can see from the physical reality perspective, the, the body is like the kid or the baby. So like being birthed into this experience, your parent is like raising your soul is like raising the child of your physical or raising the consciousness of the physical reality. And the more you come from the perspective of the soul, which is wisdom or the, the parent, then you will be able to perceive and interact in your world instead of reacting in that world um, where the child is in charge of the reality. So the density program is designed to reverse those roles and make the body more in charge 
and separate you as a whole. So like distant parents don't really raise their children. They build up the ego as if just having children makes them, you know, wise or makes them like kings of the world. But and anybody can have a child, like anybody can birth a child, but not everybody can raise a child. There's a difference. There's a difference between just like having babies and raising a child. There's a difference there. And that goes into like the relationship between the soul and the body. You can have a body experience, but, you know, it's losing something when it's not reflective of the soul it's like missing that very crucial part of alchemy it's basically like the living dead a walking dead so like distant parents or the souls we never raise our kids or ourselves we never raise ourselves because we don't know what this what the system really is we don't know how this all is because we've been manipulated by uh, mainstream religious programs locked into the density program, locked into the artificial ego, locked into whatever illusions that this dense black hole is designed to make us believe in. So how I'm seeing the flat earth is basically like a layer of the black hole, one one particular layer of the black hole. And the more and it's not necessarily seen from like a physical perspective, because coming at it from a soul perspective, it's about the soul, each individual soul becoming more dense or their perspective of reality becoming more dense. So the black hole in itself, like the earth being a light source at the edge of the black hole, this could be seen as like uh, the balances between light and dark and the earth plane or the physical reality being the bridge between the two. And in order in one of the most extreme tests or challenges that the soul can do can is to go all the way into the darkness and forget everything and then be be uh, manipulated to forget your soul essence locked into the Santa program, locked into the heliocentric program, locked into the mainstream religious program, locked into the public education system, locked into the political system, locked into the military industrial complex, locked into the materialistic uh, Hollywood uh, programming every day, locked into the ancient aliens program, locked into the new age program, locked into the, the death and destruction and the separation of human humanity and nature as a whole. These are all dense, heavily dense programs that aren't really like experienced on the physical reality as much as they are experienced from a soul perspective. This is where I'm coming from in the soul perspective. So back to the definition of it's not so much about gravity. This is about density. So when we understand that density pulls you down or when it instead of like a soul raises into a higher vibration and frequency of consciousness, density exists to bring you down. So this is how a flat, uh, a flat I almost said a flat hole or a black hole could be seen in this very definition that you're looking at right now the very dense uh, or a black hole what is a black hole very dense place in space where gravity what i'm saying is density has become so extreme that it overwhelms all other forces so the density of the illusion of the physical reality is actually um what is the gravity, the, the definition of gravity or the existence of that perspective in our reality is a density because it's untrue. It's it's a theory that is meant to set the foundation to the heliocentric illusion. So ultimately, that definition itself is a, a type of density that grounds the perspective of our soul when we believe in that stuff so this is what the heliocentric model is it's an artificial universe but really being trapped inside of a black hole 
this artificial universe has to create the illusion of the infinite which is the the solar system the big bang and so on and so forth of the heliocentric model so i'll just flip all these these uh these um words from how i've read this so density instead of gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space so instead of matter you can see that as the soul soul the soul has been squeezed into a tiny space which is the body so density is so strong because the soul has been squeezed into the body and when we are squeezed into the body and you lose the perspective of your soul because you now take on the the perspective of that tiny space and you lose the perspective of your soul because of how dense how strong the density is of this reality so because no light or the soul essence can escape or the balances none of that the natural essence of who and what you are because no light can escape we can't see black holes so since you have been squeezed in to that experience so tightly um it has clouded the perspective of what it really is so the dense reality has is so vibrant it's so beautiful the earth plane is so beautiful it's like a venus flytrap it's so it the, the like the nectar and it, it just attracts you in and it has to be that way it attracts these souls to this place in order to trap us in this density and the more souls that get trapped in the density the more alive this reality can really be and you can it, it has the illusion of flushing these souls in through the density prone like filtering souls into so this is the bridge between the souls who will expand and the souls who have continually chosen to contract this earth plane being like the bridge of the soul to con who who will continue to continually choose to worship itself or continually or or expand into the soul essence of who and what it really is this plane of existence can be seen as like that challenge that experience the lighter the lighter uh, souls will or the more vibrant souls will continue to expand or ascend and the the heavier dense souls who desire um to be kings to desire to be rulers to, to that desire to be gods that that desire to um to desire desire to desire then and have that service to self mentality they will continue to maintain the trap and this is where you have the gods and kings of this black hole or this dense reality so the next one is um because or but yeah i already read that but we can see how stars and gas that are very close act differently than than other stars so you see the people who are caught in the black hole caught in the trap so the stars are the souls the people the you can see how they act this is like hollywood the mainstream media the people who are locked into the heliocentric mentality they act differently they act a certain way based upon their relationship to the black hole this is why people who who uh step outside of the illusions are bombarded or attacked when they go against the grain of reality because we don't fit into this world we don't fit into the way the world is it, the normal world because we have been uh connecting to what is more natural so the normal the normality program is basically the synthetic universe and the natural perspective is who and what you are from the soul essence so <clears throat> when a star or a soul and a black hole are close together 
So a, a soul and an experience, the, phys, the density experience are close together. High energy light is made and can be measured by satellites and telescopes. So um, this whole definition, this is basically the scientific scientism definition of what a black hole is. And mind you like i'm not saying this is is existing i'm saying this is this is a psychological and largely into the spiritual alchemy that that has to layer it has to be layered with truth in order for the 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 pill the the prescription drug of lies to go down and affect us our entire reality so it's like the candy coating of truth which is the actual information that if you read it from a soul perspective is true but if you read it if you uh if you just accept it as it's designed then you will fall subject to the side effects of it so all these pills prescription drugs that are out there telling you that they they will make you feel better but the side effects are actually worse than the stuff that you took the prescription drug to you know work with work against it's ridiculous but that's how this this scientism program works and it's largely about convincing you of the illusion so yeah when a star and a black hole are close together the high energy so the high energy could be seen as like the moment or your creation whatever it is that you're creating from your soul having being birthed into this dense experience not saying that it's good or bad just saying that it exists whatever that meaning or purpose is i'm just relating it to like the the expansion and the contraction of the soul in order to not to have a non-linear growth process you don't want to just be existing on a linear program you're not going to learn in any kind of way you have to expand and contract like the breath the in and the out or the heartbeat expanding and contracting so density can be seen as like um i'll get into that in a second i'm gonna read this off read this next one may uh, may pull gas off the star and create accretion create an accretion disk around itself may pull gas off the star so energy off the soul and create a create accretion disk around itself so a black hole so this could be seen as like the plane of existence as a whole so the original <clears throat> dense stars that have separated from the most high in order to make gods and kings out of, as, out of out of themselves to create another experience wow so pull gas off the star and create an accretion disk so the disk can be this disk of the earth plane as a whole so into like the singularity uh perspectives and the event horizon and the accretion disk so this is the accretion disk the gas the gas and dust and other matter that are drawn toward a black hole from an accretion disk the matter heats up as it spirals toward the event horizon radiating x-rays that reveal the black hole's location and mass so the experience itself it's basically like the the plane of existence itself the the accretion disk is the the light that's formed the dust and the gas that creates this light that allows you to see the black hole because you can't see the black hole it's just like i was saying before you can't really see the experience because of its design it's not designed to be seen it's meant to be experienced and if you were to see it then you will be able to disassemble it and expand or expand outside of it or climb out of it so this the soul is basically like pulling density through the black hole into higher vibrations and 
your soul is also lear learning something from that experience. So this goes into like um, the perspective of reality, and I'll end it on this: the perspective of reality of like humanity as a whole. This place is three quarters of water. Water is an intelligent energy, and then you have intelligent beings existing in that water. So we're if we're only one third or, or one quarter of um, the physical, like air breathing physical beings, and you have air breathing physical beings, but they are in the water environment. We are air breathing physical beings in the air environment. The water environment is three quarters of this entire experience. It's it's largely all water and water is um it, it it's an, it's basically another world it's an entire world the perspective of the human experience being in charge of the reality is no different than the superior pro superior supremacy program that um has led up to the capitalism, democracy, and the, the privilege mentality, and so on and so forth. It's no different. It's a separation from nature. Especially when you understand that dolphins have, like, a way bigger brain than us and communicate on way many different, like, are in harmonics with their system way more than we are. We're actually destroying not only the land, but also the oceans, so how who's to say that humanity is this goes into like the the whole like <laughs> um god is made in um or we make god in our own image that whole mentality it's just a it's just a design to bulk up the artificial ego of the illusion so when we label a perspective like God and we start to we're putting it in a box just by looking at it, you're limiting it. So you're creating this limitation. You're creating this this uh, the limit, the, the separation from nature and, and pretty much the existence as itself because you're trying to put it in a box based upon you, the little you. It kind of takes away from everything when you try to, it's like labeling something. Somebody labels you something, they're labeling you based upon their vibration and their level of consciousness, and it's gonna lose something. And you're gonna say, wait, no, that's not where I'm coming from. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this, this, and this. And, and that, that I just listed off is not even everything that I'm really talking about. So it can't be really labeled. It's a constant expansion. So this mentality of like the mainstream religions and God, the way God is being seen, it take just by looking at it that way, it takes away because you're trying to see it from a linear perspective. And we lose something. We lose something when we do that. So, I don't know. I just wanted to share that little piece that was, that I wrote down in, um, in reference to, like, the, the energy, pretty much. The plane of existence being largely covered in water. Water is an intelligent force. So, the beings who are living in that force or in that field of energy... Are going to house some kind of intelligence obviously with the brain size of dolphin and their interact we can't speak on their level they it's a different language who's to say that they they are and this goes even with whales and and the whale consciousness or dolphin consciousness this whole thing we don't take this into account because like i said before we've been locked into this in our image perspective and we don't look at um, all that is this natural environment and this could go into the perspectives of like the black hole sun or the the sun that's in in the center of this experience or in some people are saying inside the earth it's not not necessarily inside the earth but it's the center mass of 
the entire black hole that encompasses the the earth plane uh, so where people were talking about energy coming from the black hole or coming from the center instead of coming from the sun that we see or the sun being like a reflector the energy of that center mass expression or it could be like another or the superconductor the the energy center of the superconductor like the the superconductor of the sun in the moon superconductor in the center and this is why these places are off limits and so on and so forth so yeah the 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 black hole sun this can go into like the images like people have taken video and pictures of like a, a black dot in the center of the sun and yeah i don't know there's there's all kinds of things that exist out there that are uh that can be related to this so that was just something to add to the the black hole uh, sort of ex experience and the trap as a whole and um, largely just come from the perspective of the soul and really kind of take that space and look at some of this stuff that has resulted from a uh, largely separation from nature and once we start reconnecting with nature it will change our perspectives our perceptions of what this reality really is so that's pretty much what i wanted to share with this video get people talking about thinking about the black hole perspective and expanding upon that and really it also largely takes um expands the 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 so-called scientific perspectives of the flat earth because if we start using the information that has been used against us to perceive this reality and decipher it then it will largely lead into the alchemy of the soul and we can understand we can get ahead of how this system this system is going to utilize is going to try to um science the flat earth reality and if we don't get ahead of those perspectives then we'll fall subject to the individuals who are delivering those perspectives to us only to maintain power over the masses with more illusions no different than the new age community is trying to make people believe into this um the 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 synthetic expansion of the heliocentric model and i'll go into the alien channeler consciousness in in a previous video or in a in a previous in a next in a uh, in an upcoming video to add to like how the being's perspective also adds to this whole thing so that's pretty much it this video has gone on long enough thank you for joining me and until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.